Birmingham traffic is the worst. They're not going to allow me in the workshop. Everyone seems in good spirit. <laughs> oh, fresh air. So next year, we plan on maybe going away just the two of us. I have to flush it my bum so there's... <sighs> I'm tired. Oh my goodness, look at all that. Good grief. Welcome back, guys. We've got a heck of a lot to catch up with you in this vlog. But to start off, we were heading down to the Camping and Caravanning Club annual awards dinner. The weather is awful. Lynch is driving again. I'm going to meet a load of our friends at the dinner tonight, including one of our favourites, Motorhome Matt. What do you think of Matt? He's lovely. Isn't he? He's a cheeky chappy. After checking into the hotel, we made our way to the Camping and Caravan Club awards dinner, where we met up with Matt and Jude. <laughs> I got an empty glass, Steve. Come on. Uh, all right, let's sort that out. Well, this is very fancy. We've come through into the main dining area. Looky me, I've got Andrew on one side, and just the other side of him is oh, tough. No, it's tougher's. <laughs> it may have taken me far too long to make the connection between Edgbaston and cricket. Can I just say, my party crown feels very good quality. I don't think even I could rip it. We enjoyed a beautiful dinner, but before the awards kicked off, Tuffer saw me vlogging and encouraged me to come over with a camera to get him on the vlog. You're on the vlog? I oh, say, yeah. what can you share with him? Oh, lovely, lovely to be here. <laughs> having, a, having a lovely evening here. You're up talking in a minute. Um, yeah, go and go up and go do a little Q&A. You know, you're doing this? Well, a little bit, always get a little bit nervous, don't you? But we'll be all right, say a few stories, have a bit of fun. Everyone seems in good spirits. <laughs> it's probably something to do with a wine. Good professional, right here. <laughs> Thank you. Nice oh, to see you. Nice you. to see you. Have a nice evening. Hey. Hey. What a reception. What a reception. Everyone having a nice time? Yes. yes. Come on in the bar. What one of those, man, those chips that you got where the booze just keeps on flying. Now, can I have a couple of those and say, so we were also on the table with these lads from Opus Campus. They were up for the award for the best folding campers, and they only went and won. Boys, congratulations on the win tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, well done. Well deserved, I think. I think so. Yeah. I think so. So you clearly make the best. Oh, look at that. The best, <laughs> the best folding campers. On the planet. On the planet. I, I think we need to borrow one of them. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah? I think we'd be Take it out, that. do a video, yeah. see what it's like. Yeah. You speak to the right person. <laughs> yeah. I think I can authorise that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> After the awards dinner, we headed back to the hotel for a few more drinks before calling it a night. Last night was fantastic. I'm so tired now. And after the last few weeks where it's been so difficult, having a night out, just Steve and I, and all our lovely friends at the, the Camping and Caravanning Club, it was wonderful. We had such a good night and so needed as well. Um, but leading up to it wasn't exactly straightforward as well because I've had loads of meetings. Um, I had to do Eddie's parents' consultations and they're all online. But I arrived at the hotel just about in time to do it. And there's no no reception here in the room. So I had to jump on the, the Wi-Fi that the hotel has. And the thing about the Wi-Fi is it's a public Wi-Fi. And I don't particularly trust it. Even though it's a lovely hotel, I don't trust it. And that's why we use Surfshark. We've always got Surfshark available on all our devices. If you don't know what Surfshark is, it's a virtual private network. It creates an encrypted tunnel so that my data, leaving my phone and going up to the internet, is completely safe. It means that baddies and big corporations can't get hold of my own personal data or anything I don't want them to. We use it whenever we're on any public network and it just keeps us all a little bit safer. The boys, the kids, they actually use another feature on it a little more often. When we're out of the country, they love the fact that they can set our IP address. And the IP address is 
the actual location of the device so they can set it to wherever they want in the world. They like to set it back to the UK, which means they can access all our UK content like Netflix, Disney+, Plus, all those things online and still use our home accounts. When we were choosing our VPN for the whole family, we chose Surfshark because it's one of the only VPN providers that allows unlimited devices under one account, which means all five of us can have all of our devices working at the same time. If you think that Surfshark could be helpful to you, now is a brilliant time to try because they've got a holiday deal on. Scan this QR code here or use the link in the description and you'll get up to six months extra completely free. <sighs> I'm tired. I'm tired this morning. So tired. Breakfast was really good this morning. It was really nice actually. And we had Andrew's company again so that was fun. Oh, fresh air. And that we parked the, the nearest parking space we could, right outside. <laughs> because I was in a panic to get on to Eddie's parents' consultations. So it was just like, abandoned car! <laughs> I have to flash it in my bum, because so that's where my phone is, which is my key. Oh, I'm very tired and emotional. It's been a very rough couple of weeks. But I was a little bit surprised when Steve said he paid 180. I was like, I'm sure that's more than I booked it for because I used the Camping and Caravanning Club rate for the rooms. And I searched my emails for Michelle, who sent us the information, and it said 145. However, that was October 22 for last year's event. <laughs> this year's was more. <laughs> Birmingham traffic is the worst. And I've lived in Bradford, so I know bad traffic. Um, what I will say, though, is at least it's not raining like it was last night it was raining it was horrible and oh my goodness look at all that good grief um anyway it's been such a great evening i really really needed that night out with good friends good chatting it was lovely three days later <laughs> I can't believe how much it's picked up in this time. That's my proper monkey. Um, I am feeling a bit restless. I don't know what to do with myself. It's my dad's funeral in a couple of days and I've kind of got all the planning for that done. I've written my script, you know, all the things. So I thought I'd come out here to our happy place, which is where we've had so many great memories this year. Um, and I'm going to get it ready for winter and we never leave it this long to get ready for winter We always do it much sooner because we're using it so much, but you know, it's been a weird couple of months Anyway, this new vacuum is awesome. I'll tell you more about that later I'm just going to clean the floors and tidy up in here and get ready That is so much better. Just giving it a quick mop. I know. We'll be getting rid of the Sahara forever I think we'll keep finding it in here So it has been a sad year this year. Um, I lost my mum earlier in the year and we lost Lindsay's dad last week. Um, so, and the funeral's just in a couple of days time, isn't it? Mm. But it also has been a fantastic year for our travels and our family. I was just looking at it the other day and since uh, the last 12 months, we went to Florida last December. We went then to Denmark, Norway, Sweden, and Germany in Easter. Oh. And of course, our big Morocco trip in the summer, which has, I think, created just such memories for us as a family and for the boys. Hmm. And that's what this motorhome gives us. We love this motorhome to go away and spend such good family time and create memories for those kids who mm -hmm. probably aren't going to be wanting to come away with us forever in this thing. No. No, they don't want to come away with us um, in this thing for Christmas, do they? I wanted to go to Scotland for Christmas and I've been outvoted. None of them want to come to Scotland in the motorhome with us. I want to go somewhere warm that makes me feel good. That's what I want. And I love Scotland and it's very, very beautiful, but it's not going to be warm, is it? Last time we went was 2016, Christmas 2016, mm. when we were had our new motorhome and we were caught in two storms, weren't yeah. we? So not again for this Christmas. They all want to go somewhere warm and I don't blame them. So we're not sure where we're going to go yet. It's probably a couple of weeks um, now till Christmas and we still don't know what we're doing. But I think we're going to have Christmas at home and then after Christmas possibly go away um, 
to someone because the kids aren't back to school till the 9th of January this year. It's quite mm. a late one. Steve wants me to tell you about the new control panel, but I know nothing. I've not <laughs> been here while he's done it. It's all happened while I've been up, up you there. You haven't seen this before, have you? No. OK, this is the new control panel that Sergeant set us. You cannot get this control panel, guys. We are just trialling it out. You'll get it in brand new Contikis. They're mm -hmm. doing that. But Sergeant sent us this because um, they valued our opinion on it. And Phil came the other day and he installed it. And we still got to get used to it. And it's actually in a temporary holder right now. We're going to get a new um, fascia for this. Um, but it looks really, really interesting. I'm loving, <laughs> loving the modes of it. Look. I didn't want to say how ugly it looked. <laughs> no, no, no. This is a temporary fixture. Okay. This is a temporary fixture. We're going to try it out now. Um, but we'll report back. Um, more on this as we trial it. But as I say, don't go pestering your Swift dealer for this because this is not something you can upgrade to your existing um, Swift motorhomes. It's just for new Swift motorhomes. Now, other upgrades we're doing, and yes, there's just a couple more upgrades we plan doing to this. Uh, our number one is to get a diesel heater fitted. Gas is being a lot harder to find, we're finding nowadays, apart from when you're in Europe, that's easy enough. But in the UK, over the last couple of years, we all know that it's been a lot harder to find. Mm. Um, and we've got a safe fill bottle to fill up. Um, even Cala can sometimes be hard to find. Now we've got our fantastic electrical setup, 960 amps of lithium, we've got 950 of solar on the roof, great Victron setup. Um, um, and that's great, and we're gonna be cooking on induction a little more, we've got an induction hob. But for heating, using electric for heating is not really that efficient, it's not it's really the done thing. really inefficient actually. Absolutely. So, we figured, let's get a diesel heater fitted. So um, the other day, I headed down to Autro Electrical Services to see what they thought about installing a new diesel heater in our motor. And we're on the road, but don't let that sunshine fool you. It is cold, it is zero degrees. So I've uh, tried to warm the van up and the gas wasn't working. Now it's a, it's a regular problem I have with the safe fill bottles. Last time I topped it up, I didn't check it. Um, and what it is is a little valve just inside the thread um, you take the uh, take the pipe out and just push it in with a key, just a little squirt of gas, and it works a treat. Seems to happen every time or every other time I fill up the safe fill bottle. Does it happen to anyone else? So there you go, a regular problem. But we're on the road. We're heading to Auto Electrical Services in Leighton Buzzard, where they're going to take a look at the van um, and see what diesel heat is going to be suitable. Hopefully, just the uh, the two kilowatt, not having to go for the big four kilowatt. But it's probably borderline being a nine meter van and where they're going to fit it. So just have an initial look today um, and see where we're at and hopefully they'll fit it before Christmas. So we're here, but it's going to be a little tricky filming this because apparently they do um, a lot of the unmarked police cars and what have you and they're not going to allow me in the workshop. So it'll be tricky showing you this, but I'll show you what I can. Right, they've just taken it in the workshop, but I'm not allowed in there. They're very strict on health and safety here. A few moments later. Right, good bunch of guys. Um, but it's going to be the first upgrade that I'm going to struggle to film. So I don't know how I'm going to do that one. I'm sure we'll work it out somehow. But um, they can do it. They're going to mount the, um, the heater outside in a box. And we've got to go for the D4, the bigger one, because of the size of the van. So we're not going to get away with the D2. Um, but it's going to be the best solution for warming this van up in the winter without gas. So he's going to get back to me now with a price and a date and time. Um, out and three outlets we're going to have as well. We're going to have one at the front, uh, one in the bathroom, and one in the back for the boys. There, so fingers crossed to come back with a good price, and let's see what heat we get fitted. But make sure you subscribe to the channel, as we will show you this upgrade in a future video. I only came out to do the floors, but this has turned into a bit of a bigger job. Look at the state of the place. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've just got Steve to mount the, the vacuum cleaner. We've not mounted it. I've been using it around. Um, but it's in the wardrobe, which is kind of handy, I think. But now I need to find places for all my summer clothes <laughs> that I'm not going to use until we go, oh, unless we go away of Christmas from somewhere warm. Okay. Okay, these can come in the house again. Uh, and right, I want to take this opportunity to answer a few questions about our ID buzz, because it seems to be a bit of a controversial subject right now, that. Um, but listen, number one thing, it's a second car, primarily as a second car for us, and an occasional camper van, occasional day van. That's all it is, and a good fun project to do. Um, so I know, for instance, the Adventure Overland show, I went with George, and Lindsay was booked at the Radio 2 weekend with her sister, and we couldn't have two vans for that. So we had to borrow a camper van from uh, Robert Oaktree Motorhomes, which was brilliant, but if we'd had the ID Buzz, that would have been perfect for that. Right, my love? Yeah. 
It absolutely would. I found some mould in the fridge, so I'm just giving it a clean while we do this as well. <laughs> <laughs> a good, a good clean. I call it a spring clean, an autumn clean, a winter clean. Um, also the range. Now the other day I drove down to Mason in Kent to get some lovely alloy wheels and it looks so much better with the alloy wheels. But I did 199 miles. I think it was 101 miles there, 98 miles back. And I still had 35 miles in it. I didn't charge. Five hours of driving in the winter, rain, the cold. Um, and I didn't have to charge there and back. Five hours, still 35 miles left. So the range is fine on it. And that is even in the winter. Yeah, but saying that, the people who don't believe you are still not going to believe you, even if you said that. <laughs> now, the charging infrastructure. I know we showed the electric forecourt a brain tree in our last video, our last but one video, um, and that's definitely going to be the future of charging stations in the UK. But we know there is still an issue at many of the charging stations throughout the UK, and we're not going to brush this under the carpet. If we have trouble charging, we're going to show that. Okay, so I know some of the... Um, infrastructure for instance going down the m1 i had a look the other day on the electric highway and there's still many of them have only got two ccs chargers and it was like that seven or eight years ago so i appreciate you know it, the infrastructure does need upgrading and we're going to address that issue we're not going to brush it under the carpet but it is happening it is already happening so right hopefully right our phil's just got an electric car yeah. um and he was telling me about one that's just opened at the nec i think it's got like over a hundred charge points at the NEC. So things are happening, okay? And we're just gonna help that along and we're gonna report our findings to you guys. And also with the boys getting older, they're not wanting to come away every weekend with us. So next year we plan on maybe going away, just the two of us for the odd weekend and maybe at some V-dub fests, eh? Always wanted to do Absolutely. them. Absolutely. But there's also the, the chance maybe that some of the big kids especially will want to come away with us. And if we've got that, it's a spare bedroom. Right take two vehicles with us mm. so there we are it's going to be versatile but don't forget this is mainly a second car okay not a main camper van we're not getting rid of this van it's not to replace this van we love this van we spend three months of our lives in this van but i think occasionally next year we're going to use the little camper van for the odd night here and there take the hotel we just stayed at with the camping and caravan club that was 180 quid for the night i mean i couldn't find anywhere to park the big van but I could have parked the small little um, camper van in a normal car park and saved 180 quid there. No, we wouldn't have saved 180 quid there. We were staying at the camp. I <laughs> don't think you're being cheap like that. <laughs> we were staying with our mates in the hotel, whether you like it or not. You're nearly done, missus. I am. Um, should we tell them about the kettle? No. I'm surprised. So this is the kind of level of Steve. Anything he buys up to now, for him, he gets to use straight away. Anything for everyone else, we all have to wait until Christmas. We've bought this new fancy electric right. kettle. This was on special the other day, this Bosch kettle. It's not sponsored, no. but I've heard good reports about these. So I bought one of these whilst they were on special on the Black Friday sale. <laughs> We've yet to try it out yet. It hasn't bought a kettle there, uh, and bought a cup of tea in that yet, but we'll try that out and feed you back. That just leaves your Fandango vacuum cleaner to tell them about. <laughs> Go on, what is it? It does. <laughs> it is my, I'm going to read it, Yule Technic. It's a Yule Technic U12 vacuum cleaner. It's got a fancy green light so you can see the dust and debris on the floor, which is really fabulous. It's also anti wrap for hair and it is just fantastic the thing that i like most though none of the technical stuff is just that it's light and it's easy to stow away so we we'll just keep it in the wardrobe out of the way if you want to have a go have a look at it find the details we'll leave a link in the description it's on a super deal at the moment and if you use the code radford which will also be there as well uh, you get an extra tenner off and it's got a fandango cool digital display I don't care about that. It's small, it's lightweight, and it works really well. Right, that's going to be it for this year. This is probably the last video we're going to do you for this year, guys. We're simply not going away between now and Christmas. But if we do go away at Christmas, rest assured, I'm going to pull the camera out. I'm going to record something. We're going somewhere warm. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> so, listen, thanks for everyone that supported us um, up to now in this last year. Everyone that's come along. Um, subscribers, old and new, and the sponsors, of course. Hello Fresh and Surfshark who have sponsored us all year but especially have sponsored us on this video so don't forget to check out the link in the description for an extra six months completely free and of course that vacuum cleaner it's still time to get one before christmas they were 199 they had them in sale down to 139 and if you want one use our code radfords and get it for 129 absolute bargain hint gents don't give it to your wives as a christmas present why not 
Because they deserve diamonds and beautiful things. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> hope, you, do both. <laughs> hope you have a great Christmas and we will see you real, real soon. Thank you.